When we talk about unexpected antagonists in the Game of Thrones universe, we might think of Littlefinger, Theon, or even Sansa herself. But these antagonists, who at some point were good people, did not represent an existential danger for the men of Westeros. The White Walkers were an antagonistic entity capable of eradicating men, but what would you think if I told you that the next being that could rise from the shadows is a dark version of Lyanna Stark? Do you want to know what I mean? Are you ready to understand the true plan of the Night King? And if you like everything related to the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. One of the most interesting places in Winterfell, without a doubt, is the crypts. This place holds a much darker secret, encompassing more than just ancient stones and bones. Instead of being a simple resting place for the Starks, it could be the prison of the dreaded Queen of the Night, the last female other, the female entity of the White Walkers. Now, who was the Queen of the Night? According to the legends of the First Men and the stories of the Wildlings beyond the Wall, she was a woman of unearthly beauty with skin as cold as ice. The story goes that she was loved by the Night's King, the 13th Commander of the Night's Watch and that together they reigned on the wall and made horrible sacrifices to the others. But they were defeated by Bran the Destroyer. Some theorized that the Queen of the Night was taken prisoner at Winterfell and locked in the crypts where she would never see the sunlight again so that she would not release any more of her negative influence on the world. Stark tradition indicates that only the men of the family are buried there. The theory suggests this was to keep the Queen of the Night locked away. But then, Eddard Stark, our loyal and beloved Ned, broke that tradition by burying his beloved sister Lyanna in the crypts. This act, though well-intentioned, may have awakened the Queen of the Night, who merged with Lyanna's body, or Lyanna's body gave the entity some kind of power. It is no coincidence that next to the tombs of the crypts they left swords to protect the place. Perhaps the Starks knew that it was possible for some bodies to reanimate. What if Ned, by burying Lyanna in the crypts, interfered with the prison of the Queen of the Night? This might explain why the Night King marched into Winterfell, and what was really his goal in the Long Night. If the crypts were in fact the prison of the Queen of the Night, and Ned, by burying Lyanna inadvertently broke that prison, then that could explain that perhaps, the Night King marched into Winterfell not to confront the living and annihilate them, but with the goal of freeing the Queen of the Night. If this theory turns out to be true, it brings up an exciting new plot twist for a possible Game of Thrones sequel. In George R. R. Martin's books, we see Caitlin Stark resurrected as Lady Stoneheart, a vengeful entity enraged by her death and the death of her family at the Red Wedding. Her role promises to be of vital importance in Winds of Winter, the long-awaited next book in the saga. Now, we know that in the TV adaptation, Caitlin Stark dies at the Red Wedding, but is not resurrected. So, in any possible sequel to the series, Lady Stoneheart's story would be an enigma. How could this element be handled without Caitlyn? Imagine for a moment that we need a new character to play that role. It would have to be a woman, and furthermore, she would have to be a mother figure to Jon Snow. If we go by those requirements, only one other woman fits that perfectly, and that's Lyanna Stark. This opens up an absolutely amazing possibility. Imagine Lyanna as an antagonist in a possible Jon Snow series. But this would be no ordinary antagonist, as she would be imbued with the powers of the Queen of the Night, and perhaps eager to take revenge on the Starks for keeping her locked in the crypts for so long. But what would Jon's reaction be if something like that happened? Jon's first reaction might be disbelief, and it would be completely understandable. After all, John has lived much of his life feeling like an orphan, unaware of his real mother's identity until recently. 
the news that Liana has returned from the dead, and not only that but that she has also become a potential threat, would be something he would have to deal with emotionally and mentally. Denial and confusion might be his first responses. However, as reality sets in, John would be forced to confront the truth. He would have to deal with intense emotional conflict as the mother figure he always longed to know becomes an adversary. This could take John on an introspective journey of self-discovery and reflection, as he struggles to reconcile his love for his idealized mother figure, and the grim new reality of her return. On the other hand, the confrontation with Liana could also cause John to question his own identity. As the son of Liana and Rhaegar Targaryen, John has always struggled with his lineage and what it means to him. Liana's return, especially if she is under the influence of the Queen of the Night, could make John further question his own identity and his place in the world. Liana's return could also act as a catalyst for John to define and reaffirm his own values. John could follow in the footsteps of this evil entity into the heart of the North, or take his position as the leader of the Targaryen. I know some of you might argue that this theory is too magical and strays a bit from the political and brutal realism that defines Game of Thrones. But we must remember that we're in a universe where Jon Snow was raised from the dead, and so was Caitlyn Stark. Magic exists and plays a crucial role in the story. Also, John and Caitlin's plots may end up intertwining in unexpected ways in the books. The theory that Lyanna Stark could return as an antagonist may seem unlikely at first, but it's incredibly interesting and would certainly be fascinating to see on screen. The idea of a Lyanna possessed by the Queen of the Night seeking revenge against the Starks would bring a whole new level of tension and conflict to the plot. In addition, the fact that Liana is Jon Snow's mother adds an even deeper emotional dimension. Jon would have to face his mother, whom he never knew, and who has now become a threat to him and everyone he loves. What an emotional dilemma that would be for Snow. But tell me what are your thoughts on this theory? Do you think Liana could become the Queen of the Night, or do you think Jon Snow's series will take a completely different path? Drop your opinion in the comments. And if you liked this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. And for more videos with theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Three-Eyed Raven